Hey everybody, you join me out on the DR. Uh, it's been grey and miserable here for like a week or more. And I thought, well, you know, the DR can be any grey weather. It's dry out relatively. Let's just go out on the DR for a bit of fun. And then the sun came out. So when? Maybe it's just cloudy and grey down where I am continuously right on the coast. I've only come a few miles up, but maybe, maybe it's been sunny here the whole time. I don't think it has. Oh man, have I ever missed this machine! It's... <laughs> Calm down. So yeah, as I mentioned in my recent video, this year is going to be a lot about riding. This bike, my own bikes, lots of bikes, whatever I can get my hands on. Um, I've already heard back from a couple of companies that are like, yeah, we haven't got anything yet, which is actually quite normal for this time of year. I'm just a bit of an eager beaver trying to get bikes, but I do think there could be a bit of a delay, so more time on my bikes is no bad thing. Let's have a look. It is! It is still grey and horrible back where I live. I should have realised this. I just need a little bit of sunshine at home so I can get a few pictures of the uh, the icon helmet they sent me so I just want a few for you know for reference um, and obviously to put up in social media posts because it's, it's a damn good looking helmet I think and I'm quite surprised that there's a more of a yeah I actually like that than oh my god that's horrible there was a few that's horrible quotes but that's fine I was expecting it it was actually a lot less um, but yeah I, I need to do like the camera mount on the front of it and stuff but I don't want to do that until I've taken the pictures thank you sir but what I did do was I whacked the new clear visor off of uh, the new variant they sent me and shoved it on this one because my one was filthy and getting a little bit scratched from being old. It's so much clearer. New visor is like new eyes. Oh no, they're turning. But I do have a van right up my chuff. Hey van man, eat some brat. Do you like that for breakfast? How about some brunch? Am I feeling risky? I'm feeling risky. I want to do some proper exploring. We can't be terrified of nails and screws puncturing our tyres every time we come down here. If it happens, oh, I'm going to be mad. Oh, you start seeing the builder's rubbish already. It feels like a game of Russian roulette, but the gun's fully loaded. And an MG42. <laughs> New rules in place, I've got to be extra, extra cautious. Careful, careful now, careful now. And because this is national speed limit, we go. See, sports bikes don't feel like this on this sort of road. No bikes feel like this on this sort of road other than bikes like this where they're powerful they're light you don't feel like every rut's going to send you off admittedly i'm on road tires it's covered in gravel and probably screws is that screw no it's all right just keeping an eye out i'm, jo I'm joking <laughs> oh, i love this bike so much if you've been watching my channel for a long time, you'll know how much I love this bike and you'll know what I've gone through to get it back here to just being usable and fun. Well, and also not a rust bucket. Joyful. Joy to the world, there is a pheasant. Hello, Mr. Pheasant. It just feels so live. You get the throttle and it starts, you know, the back end starts to slide a little bit and everything feels a little bit sort of ooh. Dumping a body. Dumping a body. There's the hat. Oh no. They're dumping a shoe. 
If you like the idea of me making lots more videos this year, actually on bikes, including my own, and it's going to be like motor vlogging. I mean, I'm not going to be vlogging in the sense of, you know, telling you about every hour of my life. Although there will be parts of that, but I don't do that side of it anymore. But I do like just doing random videos like this, just riding around, having fun, talking crap. If you enjoy these videos, and I have a feeling a lot of you do, smash the like button. I would very much appreciate it, and it will show me, it will inspire me to make as many as I can. Though I will try not to talk crap in every single one of them. I'll just shut up and do this. Oh. Need a longer straight ready for that. <laughs> oh, I see glass. Glass makes me think of screws. It's a good way to let people know you're coming. I have a fluff in my eyes. What was that? Let me strain the eye. Ah! Is that like blossom? Like spring blossom? It is quite warm. It is not cold today. It is nice. Nice. Oh, just like the old days. <laughs> oh, that's a big bag of crap for a little dog. Hello, my friend. Yay, he nodded at me and everything like. Oh, you lovely son of a gun, you. I'd come and stroke your hair lovingly on a, on a cold winter's eve, I would. I, I don't know what's wrong with me. I'm just out on the bike. This is DR fever. That's what it is. Supermoto fever? DR fever? Carrot fever. Carrot fever. Now, if anyone gets carrot fever as a reference, I will be impressed. I know there's a few of you who will. May. You, you will. La da da da. La dee dee da. La dee dee dee. <whistles> okay. Gravity all the way. So clean up my rear brake if nothing else does. <laughs> The wonderful thing is, this bike is keeping to the speed limit on its own. So it's saving the planet, one hill at a time. Do not try and ex say about, yeah, but didn't you go back up the hill and that's going to use more petrol than the use of... Yeah, I did that, 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 that. What a facts matter. It's 2022. <laughs> now, I didn't talk about this too much at the time, but a little while ago, a few months, yeah, something like that, I'd, yeah, about that, a few months, I just noticed that I was never riding for fun. I was only ever riding when I had a camera with me and stuff like that. And it was just, I don't know. I just feel like it had taken something out of riding for me. I, I, I'm not saying I didn't enjoy it, but I didn't have the same emotions, the, the joy that came. I still, it's hard to explain. It's, it's, it's like I still love doing it, but it was, it just didn't have that like little sparkle magic days where every now and then something silly just makes you laugh. So I stopped taking the camera with me for a bit, and I've ridden this bike for quite a few rides since I fixed it on my own, just to, just to get reconnected with it and just to fall back in love with with what what motorcycling is to me, as it were. Because things have moved with it, obviously. Because ultimately, yeah, okay, I do do this for a job and I review bikes and stuff like that. But ultimately, I just love little bikes and having fun. Especially for noise like this. Hey, look at How did a cigarette butt just nearly hit me? Did someone flick it off over the bridge? Well, I'm so sorry, Derek. Not unless I go in first, I'm not going to be opening you up much. <laughs> People are complaining about the, uh, you know, they're going to bring speed limiters into vehicles as of this year, I think it is. There already is a speed limiter in place in most vehicles. It's called the frickin' traffic. Oh, I'm already in fifth. I should have realised.
<laughs> oh, one of your exhaust noozles has, has popped off. You're actually showing the crappy little exhaust that's underneath there, not the nice shiny end. The end tip, the little shiny end. Do, oh really? Well come on, guy! Now I know a lot of you, or a lot of people, have this habit of going from traffic lights when they go amber, or on amber. And that's, uh, that's okay if you want to take that risk, you should really wait till green, and there are very, very good reasons for that. And it's, it's the one reason I'm going to point out now, and I just, I'm not telling you to stop going on amber, because sometimes you kind of don't have a choice, because if you're at the front of the traffic, because you're filtered forward, and this is where you kind of want to stop one car behind, if they go on amber, you really have to go, because the problem is, you're going to have a car either side, you and someone behind is probably going to hit you, or you're going to get squished or something. It's not a good situation when you're at the front between cars, and you are second to get away. But the reason it is very important to wait for the green is because the time between it going from amber, well, so from red, amber, green, there is a delay built in. So if anyone jumps the red light or takes the amber like you, but they're passing through it at 60, it means that you don't hit them if you go on green and not the other car. I mean, obviously some people can be completely late onto it, but generally waiting till green will knock out most of those scenarios. You know, for new riders or new road users, I don't know if you realise that there is a reason why you're supposed to wait and what the implications of, you know, you know, it's like, wait a split second or get T-boned at 60. What would you rather? So that's another point. I mean, have, make sure you look to see if anyone's coming. So when you go across train tracks, I always look left and right anyway, even though I shouldn't be able to be on that train track if there's a train anywhere near me. I don't trust the system. I'd rather just use my eyes. The Eufy system is fantastic. Search Spice 110 UYFE. You'll find it. You'll be amazed. Another thing you may have noticed is I've been uploading some shorts. I think it's quite fun. I don't like shorts, if I'm honest with you, at all on YouTube. They don't really belong here. I don't like short form co uh, content. I think it's going to destroy long form content and brain cells at the same time. Um, <laughs> however, it is kind of fun to put the odd video in there, you know, take a little snippet from something old that most of you have probably never seen, just to give you an idea of some of the stuff that's back there. Uh, so if you don't like them, apologies, please ignore them. Um, of course, that's, that's the general rule with everything. But also, it's the, it's the sad game that the algorithm wants me to at least be involved with it somehow. So if I do a few videos here and there, that's uh, worth it. You know, they're not just dumb shorts. Please take half of my road, sir. I don't need it. It's all yours. That's exactly what I meant by that. Oh, oh it's sunny down here as well now. See, the DR, it is so powerful, it is so beefy that it blew the clouds away. It is now sunny here too, and I'm very joyful for it. Oh, Kestrel. Yeah, so this year is going to be a lot of fun, I'm hoping. Lots of just exploring and going places. Obviously, that's going to increase more and more as the weather becomes more enjoyable. Today's been lovely for a nice, you know, hours, hour or two ride. But obviously, when the spring starts up, mm. it's going to be amazing. And yes, in the truest of styles, because people would be mad if it didn't, let's end it at Tesco's. I guess for people new to the channel, this is the Derek. Say hello to Derek. Derek's a good boy, as I scaredly look at the fork stanchions to be like, oh good, they look good, they look good. <laughs> Why Derek? I literally had to bump start it to get home. Why? Hoping for a simple fix. Yeah, boy. Come on, Derek. Don't let me down. Yes! Well, it's, that was okay, it's cold, but yes! <laughs>